How are you guys doing tonight? My name is Charles Martineau, Microsoft Specialist for the North Seattle Territory. And today we're going to talk a little bit about that new Windows 8 Start screen and how to really make it your own and personalize it so that what matters to you is at the forefront of your machine and what doesn't matter to you is completely out of the way. Um, we're going to go over a couple different ways to add tiles, remove tiles, and make groups of tiles. And I'm also going to tell you how to do it with a keyboard and mouse or on a touch-only device with some gestures. Um, so with that said, let's dive right into it. Um, you see here, we're looking at my start screen. Um, now, my start screen has a lot of tiles. I like to have a lot there. And what's important about the start screen is that you can really, you really are replacing your old desktop with it and your start menu. So you can have as many as you want there. We, we really give you that option, or you can have almost none. So really, the first thing I would show you is it doesn't matter what tile I grab. It's really easy just to left click and drag it around with my mouse at any point in time I can put it back you know if I move it over and I want to make it its own group I can just hold it to the right side of my screen there and it would create this gray bar which would put it into its own group I can also right click on it and get specific options that are pertinent to that specific tile and if I don't want this tile I can just unpin it from the start screen just like this if we were to go back over to where I took that tile from you know now I'm missing my Mariners tab. Um, now to add a tile, um, depends on what you're looking for, but in that case, we're searching for content in our machine. So I'm actually just from the screen going to type Mariners, and it doesn't find it anymore. There's nothing with the Mariners. So what I would do is I would, I would actually come down here and find my sports app or wherever I'm pulling that content that I'm pinning to the start screen. In this case, it's my sports app. And while it opens the sports app, it's going to instantly search for the Mariners here in just a second just like that and once I get to the Mariner screen this is with an app so you know I have a lot of options I can read stories or you know take a look at the schedule or whatever but what I also can do is I can right click once again from the right on the home screen here and I can pin the specific team right to my start screen I don't actually have to you know go anywhere special I have a special app to do that it puts it right on the start screen now when I go back to my start screen, it puts it all the way at the back, and it's really easy for me to just kind of hold it on that scroll bar down there, bring it over to this group of tiles here, and snap it right back where it was. Now what's really nice is that if you don't have a cluttered start screen like I do, you can actually select as many tiles as you want at once to remove them or add them at the same time. So here I could say I want all these out of the way right now, and I could unpin them all at the same time. The other thing that's really nice is that once you make tiles into groups, you want to be able to organize those groups. So after I drag my tiles around and put them in different groups, I can just come down here to this minus symbol, and it'll actually zoom us out to where I can see all my different groups. From here, I can pick up full groups and move them in and around where I have them. I can also right-click on a group, and I can name that group, just like as easy as this. Once I do that, now it really allows for me to have different groups of tiles that are available for me to move around when I need them, like if it's work and I'm going to be busy at work. Or if I'm not going to be at work, I can throw anything that has to do with work and money and bills and all that out of the way and go on vacation. So you can really see here why we put the tiles there. It allows us to have quick, touchable, tappable, clickable access to any of the important information. The next thing that's really important with the start screen and personalizing it is what it's going to show and cycle. Some people don't like that the information cycles repeatedly. And so let's say I share this machine and I don't have a separate account. You know, my kids get on this machine or whatever. I can always right click on a tile and have options pertinent to that tile. So in this case, right here at the bottom left, once I right click on it, is turn the live tile off. So when I turn the live tile off, it actually stops cycling any information and puts just an icon there. This is to allow me to personalize my machine to the point where no one, no one can see anything that I don't want them to see. This can be helpful when it comes to pictures or mail or banks or whatever you, you pin to your start screen. I personally um, create 
you know, Microsoft account for anyone in my family. So it's it's really easy for me to leave everything cycling and it kind of gives it a, a little bit of a, you know, draw, draws you in because it's kind of active. The idea is that without launching my mail or my calendar or any of these different programs, I can actually just take a quick glance and see all this information. I see there's two emails, they cycle. I see what's going on with those sports teams I'm paying attention to. I can see what's going along with the, the stocks I have pinned or stories or news apps or whatever. It allows for me to really just take a quick glance at my start screen and see a lot of information at once. Now, that was pretty easy to do those tiles on a mouse and keyboard, but what's even easier is how to do the tiles on touch. So for that, we're going to move my mouse cursor out of the way. And all I would do to mimic a right click on a tile is swipe down really quickly with my finger on a tile. If I want to select multiples, I just swipe down on a lot of tiles, as you can see here, just like this. So for the sake of this, I'm going to remove my word tile and I'm gonna hit unpin from start and now just like I did with the sports I'm going to just type word and in my results here is a bunch of different things that have word in them well all I do is swipe down just like I did on the start screen on word 2013 and sure enough here I can tap pin to start right again that way when I return to my start screen and I come all the way over here all I would do is drag and grab the tile bring it right down to where I brought it with the mouse and drag it right over here to my office and work group. So it's very easy. You can do them all at once. You can move tiles, drag tiles. We made it very fluid between mouse and keyboard. And we really like to make it so that it's a very easy experience for you. I hope this was very helpful and you guys all have a wonderful day.